Thank you, Sophie. A very good evening and welcome to the Late Look North on Tuesday. Tonight, we're reporting from Scarborough as work starts on a project to cut the amount of sewage being dumped in the sea. Thank you for joining us. Now, would you be happy to pay higher water bills to reduce the amount of sewage being dumped into our rivers and seas? Well, work is getting underway to reduce discharges off the coast at Scarborough, but there's a warning that more projects like this one will come at a cost to customers. With tonight's top story, is Corin Wheatley. While it's not ideal beach weather today, the holiday makers in Scarborough are making the best of it. But it seems some tourists are unaware that the water quality in the South Bay is currently rated poor with advice not to swim in it. Would you be happy to get in the sea knowing probably what... Not after knowing that, no. <laughs> I didn't know it was classed as poor, so um, probably just dip my feet in it, but that would be about it really. So quite disappointing really. A mile down the coast, Yorkshire Water are about to start work on a project they hope will help. They're spending £2.3 million on this pumping station to improve the water quality. Here we are um, putting in new storage, so 787 metres cubed of storage. And the reason we're doing that is because it currently spills to the sea more often than we or our customers would like it to. So it means that during prolonged heavy rainfall, we can store additional volume which prevent that, that storm overflow. Who's paying for it? Bill payers obviously are contributing significantly towards it. Um, we're, we're heavily regulated in terms of what we can spend. We've got an overall investment programme and we're prioritising where, where best to spend that. Last year there were 43 sewage discharges in this location. Yorkshire Water say once the work is done it should only be 10 per year, two in the bathing season between May and September. There has been significant pressure recently on water companies across the country to tackle the amount of sewage pumped into our rivers and seas. Local campaigners are happy to see some progress. The public care. Everyone's clean water. We shouldn't feel scared to go in the sea. We shouldn't feel scared to go in the rivers. But we want to see results because they've had investment in the past and it's not worked. So we want to see that's going to make some big difference this time. But as the pressure on water companies ramps up, customers have been warned that they may see an increase in their rates to help pay for improvements. I don't mind paying a little bit more if that's what they use it for and just not have massive profits to, uh, to dish out to themselves. Yes, I would, yes. Why? Why would you be prepared to pay more? Uh, as you sell the environment in general. Steve says the public shouldn't be left with the bill. Well, the walkers made a lot of money off us for a lot of years. Our bills are very high anyway. We've paid for it already, so they should basically get hands in the pocket and sort it out. What can you say to reassure customers who might not feel like they have a lot of faith in their water companies right now? So, so I would say that our monitoring of the system is better than it ever has been. Uh, we have effectively prioritised where we want to invest and we recognise we need to do more. We recognise that this means a lot to customers um, and we're investing. This investment actually we've pulled forward to deliver early because we know there is a real um, demand from customers to see improvements. It's hoped the project here will improve things in time for next summer so everyone can feel a little more confident at the water's edge. Corinne Wheatley, BBC Look North, Scarborough.